and here we go. The Steelers have made a couple more additions to the team. Just a few hours ago, they go out there and sign a guy in Quez walking to speed threat, but now come in at a quarterback and a veteran defensive lineman to the mix here in Pittsburgh. Some really good additions, um, and we're going to break it all down in this video. Now, according to Ari Mirov, the Steelers have signed quarterback Kyle Allen and veteran D lineman Dean Lowry to the team. Now in this video, we're gonna break down everything you need to know about Dean Lowry and why this is an actually good pickup here for the Steelers going forward. However, before we jump into all that analysis, make sure you guys do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you're new, it is free, doesn't cost anything, but also make sure you guys leave a letter grade down below on, you know, what do you think of the Steelers off season so far? You know, they went out there, they've added a brand new starting quarterback in Russell Wilson, Van Jefferson, Quez Watkins, and Justin Fields to their offense. And then defensively, you add a starter in Patrick Queen, a starter safety in Deshaun Elliott, a starting corner in Dante Jackson and now a veteran defensive lineman who can add some really good depth in Dean Lowry. Now, with that being said, leave your letter grade and let's get right into the video. Now, Dean Lowry is a very interesting player. Now, the first thing you're going to notice about him is he's more of an interior rusher. Now, on this play, you're going to see him absolutely demolish the interior offensive lineman here. The center bulldozes right through him and gets right to the quarterback. I mean, this is something the Steelers are gonna have off their bench. Keep in mind, this is not gonna be a day one starter because quite frankly, they don't need him to be a day one starter. Now, with that being said, this is going to be a really big pickup. Let's break down some more film. Now, when you look at the defensive line here, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're actually pretty fine, right? Larry, Ujin, Joby, uh, Keanu Benton, Cameron Hayward, right? They are obviously have depth up there, but now adding a guy who can come off the bench and give you a spark plug when a Cameron Hayward or when, um, you know, a Larry Ujin, Joby needs to get some break, and I know I'm probably butchering his name, by the way, um, but whenever they need a break, they, now you have a guy in Dean Lowry who has been in the NFL for a, you know, extended amount of time since 2016. He was a fourth round pick out of Northwest but is still only 29 years old, has tallied up over 267 total tackles, 15 and a half sacks, one forced fumble, five fumble recoveries, and also has an interception to go along with 17 pass deflections. Does a really good job getting his hand onto the football when it's out of the quarterback's arms. But look at how he just uses strength, power, and just raw uh, skill to get to the quarterback, bring him down, and hey, that is the new quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers and Justin Fields as well. Got to keep that in mind. But he also has 19 and a half run stuffs as well. So this man can get to the quarterback, he can create pressure, uh, knock the ball down the line of scrimmage as well as just create pressure maybe even get some run stops in the backfield as well but the number one thing we look at when we look at this deal is the fact that he's not going to need to be a starter they're not going to ask him to come in here to be a starter all they need him to do is come in here and be a depth piece that could be a spot starter at any given time and you know when you watch his film you're going to notice how much he just bullies guys man he goes through them easily there is no need uh, for anything else but his strength his power um his athleticism i mean just bullies 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 all the way back into the quarterback i mean that is something you don't see too much in the nfl and dean lowry is a guy who could do it at a high level man you get him pretty much for free i don't know what the deal is or how much or how long it is but i know this it is a very good signing i like it let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below uh, but man, the Steelers have done such a good job this offseason bringing in some new starters. Give me a letter grade down below. And if you guys want a full breakdown of the Steelers offseason, I believe it would be like a part two or three. Comment down below part two. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next Steelers breakdown. Peace.